In previous videos, we introduced Taylor series, which are a polynomial version of a function. And we also introduced in other videos, this thing called a radius of convergence, which we can use for a power series. Now we're going to simply calculate the radius of convergence for a Taylor series. So a Taylor series is simply a power series. So everything that we learned about power series, we can now do with Taylor series. So we learned how to calculate the radius of convergence for a power series. So now we can calculate the radius of convergence for a Taylor series. So remember, when we're calculating the radius of convergence, the thing to start with, the key here is the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of the ratio of our terms. And this is for the sum a n. So we take the n plus one term and divide it by the nth term. So we see what that limit is. If the limit is equal to zero, then the radius of convergence is infinite, meaning that this series, a to the n, or a sub n, is going to converge for all values of x. If our limit here is equal to infinity, then that means that this series diverges. So the radius of convergence is zero. And if this limit is equal to some constant k times x minus some value b, then we simply set this less than one because the ratio test says that this will converge as long as this limit is less than one. So we set it to be less than one, meaning that x minus b is less than one over k. So our radius of convergence would be one over k. Okay, so let's apply this to the Taylor series expansion for e to the x. So in our situation here, e to the n is x to the n over n factorial. And e to the n plus one is x to the n plus one over n plus one factorial. Now we know that we're going to need to divide a n plus one by a n. So right away, I like to go ahead and simplify, rewrite this a n plus one term. So I'm going to write it as x to the n times x. And then n factorial is n plus one times n factorial. OK, so let's go ahead and look at the limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n absolute valued. So our numerator is x to the n times x over n plus 1 times n factorial. And then a n is x to the n over n factorial. So next thing we're going to write down is n factorial divided by x to the n. So let's go ahead and simplify things a bit, cancel some stuff out. The x to the n's cancel out, the n factorials cancel out, and that just leaves us with x over n plus 1 within the absolute values. Now we can go ahead and evaluate the limit. When n goes to infinity, then this whole fraction will go to 0. So this limit is equal to 0, meaning that our power series, x to the n over n factorial, summing from n equals 0 to infinity, this will converge for all values of x. That means that our radius of convergence is infinite. 